hello, hello, hello. I am Levifel29, um, also known as Levifel Needs Caffeine, and we are going to be playing some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth today. Uh, thank you so much for those people who watched my last clip. I saw my views. I was really excited. Um, and so why don't we just jump right into it? A um, couple of ground rules. First and foremost, um, be kind. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Be kind to me. Um, second rule, this is not a spoiler-free run. So um, if you are trying to avoid spoilers, uh, this is not the stream for you. Uh, that said, if you have also seen, played, whatever, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, um, and then there are other people in the chat who have not yet. Please don't maliciously spoil. Like, I know what this is, na 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 na. That's not on. Like, just let's enjoy this together. Um, please don't backseat, um, backseat game just because. I like to play the way that I play. I'm more than happy to receive tips and tricks, more than happy, um, but just when it comes to the actual gaming, I prefer to just sort of go for it. I'm also a bit of an immersive gamer, so uh, I tend to get a little bit of tunnel vision when I'm playing, so I might not necessarily see chat comments, but by all means stick them in there and I will respond to you to the best of my abilities, best of my capacity. Um, and with all that, let's jump into it. So, just see. There we go. Alrighty. So where did we leave off? Um, I think I was just going into the Mithril Mines. So we'll just jump into that and go from there. Alrighty. Cool, cool. Hope everybody had a good long weekend. Um, and that nobody was particularly cruel to you on April 1st. It is now April 2nd here, but I am aware that time zones exist. cave. I went to Japan at the end of last year and there was a similar cave that I actually visited so this is kind of wild to me like it really reminds me of like the tourist cave which is um Akoyoshido I think which is in it's on Honshu the, the main island but it's the western part of the main island near a town called Mine. Ooh, there's, there's a seat. I'm gonna sit down and recover. MPHP. And actually, that was the first time I had ever been underground in a significant capacity. So it's kind of wild. Oh, let's get some high potions. anything else? Was that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Cool. Oh wait, who's in my combat party? Let's see. Barrett and Aerith sounds pretty good. Um... Barrett's got a new weapon, so I want to get his proficiency up in that. Can you actually read? No. <laughs> okay. It's them. It seems we've caught up. Come on. How would you be just 
following a whole bunch of guys around wearing dark robes, like... It's very cult-like. <laughs> I don't see any chests. I don't think there is any here. No, it doesn't look like. Okay. It's very sad. Nothing we can do. Right. I don't know. We shouldn't just leave him. Know what? I'll go check. Okay. I'll come too. Nah, you stay. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. <laughs> okay, if you're sure. Sorry to... I mean... Thank you. <clears throat> you keep track of the other robes now, you hear? Of course. Okay, so <laughs> my, pa my party selections are kind of pointless at this point. I uh, <laughs> forgot about that. But I thought that was really cool, Tifa catching herself there. Like, that's a, it's a thing that you do when um, you go through, like, having anxiety and having some therapy and stuff like that. You catch yourself saying sorry a lot. So being able to stop herself from saying that and saying thank you. It's really cool. <laughs> My goodness, man. Just figuring out the the distance for the mic without having it pop constantly. I need to get like a little pea shield <laughs> thing. <laughs> that sounds so oh. sus when you say it that way. <laughs> Allow me. Crawler. Snake-like creatures that slither in mines. Upon sensing danger, they spit up a liquefied gas that saps their target's body heat. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. Huh. Oh, Jesus. No surprises there. All materia all the way over there. The fact I get access to it so quickly is pretty cool. AP up. Okay, I think I probably don't want to use that just yet, but... Oh, there's an important chest. You asked for it! Bring it! Okay. Assess! I got your note. Crystalline crab. Large bluish white crustaceans that dwell in mountainous regions. They hide among rock formations, awaiting a chance to attack their prey with electric claws. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. When they slip into their defensive stance, they become impervious to basic attacks. Powerful attacks will cause them to stagger and break their stance. If left uninterrupted, they will unleash a high voltage attack. Stop that! You're mine. Bring it! Nice little workout. S 
silk gloves. Okay, so that's for Tifa. Reverse Gale. Knock enemies into the air and bring them crashing down with a wind aspected attack. Launches enemy towards you can use while airborne. Cool, and then what's her weapon abilities? We have ATB charge rate up, enhanced techniques, MP recovery rate, and steadfast concentration. If it activates concentration after being re I don't want it after being revived. That means it's basically useless. We'll just go ATB charge rate. Did you have a... no. Okay. Is there anything else up here? No, okay. I want the chest. I'll take the lead. Tagging out. I got it. Come on. Ha. Bring it. as much as possible to get that proficiency done. Workers. I can kind of read this one. Let's keep our mind safe. Comply with regulations when disposing of waste. Follow proper procedures to prevent cave-ins. Carry an oxygen source at all times. Okay, well that boat's not so great for our party. <laughs> uh, wear your safety equipment. Also, yeah, they're not wearing helmets or <laughs> anything like that. Okay. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Can you oh, take over? Need to hit the other button. Bring it. Gotcha. Here. Come on, Tifa. Oh no! Come on. Up you go. Gotcha. Bingo. Come on. Ah. But not my best. <laughs> okay, you can go down there, but I think Let's stick up here for a hot min. No, actually, I. You go down there to avoid this guy, but I don't want to avoid him. Ogre. Best do it right. Beastmen that lived deep within caves long before humans began their mining operations. Though generally peaceful, they will defend their territory with untold ferocity when threatened. Blocking their club attacks will pressure them, but blocking furious blows or fury will make them more difficult to pressure. Okay. It's on you. You've got this. I got this. Kind of hurt. Okay, is there anything over there? 
Doesn't look like it. Now jump down, cloud. <laughs> Just want to see if there's anything down here worth getting. Oh, there's some more. Apart from that, no. <laughs> Hi Alpha Games Asterio? Asterio, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> yeah, I remember this part too. Um, I'm just not 100% good in my memory. <laughs> oh, an arch dragon. Okay, access that now. I got him now. Airborne lizards that live in mines. They use to avoid humans choosing to nest deeper inside the caves after the tunnels were closed off. However, they began to expand their territory. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. Deal with that. It's your turn. Okay, let's go. Tifa's reverse gale should hopefully have a slight <laughs> elemental element to it. One step at a time. Seems so, and she's mustered it, so cool beans. Did I miss anything then? I did. Gosh, idiot. Go back. <laughs> Five chunks of iron ore. Okay. I do need that for item transmutation, so. Ooh, what's that? I went back and there was nothing in the boxes. That's Get out of here. Let's see. Natural light. Is there anything that way? My brain just doesn't exist this morning. Got some timber, marjoram, and looked like an ether onion, I think. Elevator's broken. Yes. Let's 
there anything else over here? And the lighting is... Oh, I have to close my blind actually just because it's a bit glary. I'll be back in a sec. <sighs> Just that light out of the corner of my eye. All right. What happens if I go down here? Can I go down here? non-threatening she sounds when she says that. <laughs> Let us through or else. <laughs> That'll take the lead. Here goes. Can you take over All for me? Set. Gotta heal first. Come on, Tifa. I don't see any black robes. Did we lose them? Still got time to catch up. If any of them are still alive. Yeah, I would not want to be walking around in a dark cave um, at the best of times. Let alone 
with what's going on with the black robes. What have we got? Ether. Phoenix down. I don't want to buy things just yet that I don't need. Just because I have barely any gill. Okay. What have we got? Synergy skill counter fire. Team up with your partner in time. With an enemy's ranged attack to unleash a counter strike. Now that could be handy, but what else have we got? Melee blade. Hold the button to gather strength and team up with your partner to unleash a charge attack. This one's wildfire. Increased punishment mode counter damage. Increased damage dealt by basic attacks by 3%. Look, I think I'm just going to go for the, the synergy ability. Well, not a, it's not an ability, it's a synergy skill. To start off with. We'll get more later. Tifa. What have we got? Enhanced techniques. And fiery impulse. Hmm. I think we'll do this one. Aerith. Well, the only one I can do for Aerith at the moment is Rolling Thunder. And then I don't think. Well, Barrett has five. What do you got? Fiery Impulse. Why not? Red. Wind current. Yeah. Cool. He holding up okay? He's been through worse. He's been instructed to take some time to himself. To relax. Recuperate. Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds a lot like Wait. a nice, long, all-expenses-paid vacation. Well, more or less. Lucky. Hardly. <laughs> He's bored out of his mind. Seriously? What are we even doing here? Sorry, but I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Orders are orders. The whys and wherefores are not... Oh, don't freeze! Jeez. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? <sighs> I say we put him down. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Assholes. Who's there? <laughs> Sharp ears. Oh, damn it. I mean, she's right. They no are assholes. Freaking way. Avalanche. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Where's Reno? On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. And a consummate professional. <laughs> <laughs> Elena's probably the best one to take out Oops. <laughs> I ran right into that. <laughs> Alright. Assess Elena. 
A new operative with the Turks unit of Shinra's General Affairs Division. After distinguishing herself in the military academy, she was brought into the fold as the unit's newest member. What she lacks in practical experience, she makes up for with enthusiasm. Hitting her with powerful offensive abilities will pressure her, interrupting her synergy strikes will also pressure her. Alright. Access rude now. Best to it right. An operative with the Turks unit of Shinra's General Affairs Division, he prefers to use his bare fists and physical prowess to subdue his enemies. With his partner Reno out of commission, he has instead teamed up with new recruit Elena on his current business. Hitting him with multiple powerful offensive abilities while his guard is up will pressure him. Interrupting his synergy strikes will also pressure him. You good? Oh, she screams so loud. <laughs> In the air. 
right now. Better keep that toy where I can see it, lest you want a hole in your head. Now then. Y'all got a lot to answer for. A lot of blood on your hands. You need someone to blame. I suggest you look in the mirror. For us, however, things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh yeah? Bullshit! Take care of Aerith for me. Elena! Nice one, Red! Take care of Aerith, he says. And then literally encourages her to nearly cause a cave-in. Far out. Just gonna float there. <laughs> hey, where are the others? You okay? We're good. Just taking a quick dip to get the crime off. Do you see a way to go? We'll find one. We'll meet you at the exit. Okay. Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where they going? They're following Sephiroth. Or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. Exploring is Barrett. Press square to unleash a hail of bullets that can destroy crates, obstructions, and mithril crystals containing items and transmutation materials. Alright, just quickly, I'm also going to... Oh, I can do it when I open the chest. Um, they've got to add the assess materials to Barrett. Renegade's collar. Present Claw. Slash at a foe. Deplete the gauge while in vengeance mode to increase potency and range. Alright. Enduring Vengeance. ATV car charge rate up. Vengeful Revenant. Siphon Fang, HP up. Okay, I'm just gonna go ATV charge rate. Um, I don't think Red needs a poison materia at this point. But, no. Barrett. Autocast. Precision, HP up. And lightning. Look, I'm gonna get rid of his HP up and we're gonna put the assess materia there. Yes, I know Cloud has it. Alright, what have we got here? My two high potions.
wearing a bracelet. Buy another assess material. And then, so I don't forget, um, quickly equip Cloud with that one. Cool beans. No one's got any SP. Ah. Come on. There we go. Then save. Okay. Now that we've got housekeeping out of the way, so to speak. Come on. Yes, it's my turn! Want some more? Oh. Alright. Abilities. Assess the plan! Gotta fight you! Gelatinous creatures that inhabit mines, they boast superior intelligence, allowing them to spout off spells as they slowly creep along. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them, they drop MP, restoring items upon defeat. Man, suck on this! Oh. Yeah. 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 Disappointing. Thanks. I'm gonna make you regret! Oh. Yeah. Ah. You ain't getting out of this! One shot at a time. Uh. Want some more? I got something just for you. Huh. Catch you sleeping. Make uh. I'm gonna make you regret this. Zako, we're done here. Getting out of here. That might be an option. or something over this way.
Here we over here. Hooray! I think it's really cool how they've designed the caves as well because like this is actually what caves look like. Bar the uh, glowing rockies like that. Feel the hate. <laughs> Reminds me of Hades and Kingdom Hearts. Now that was something else. Huh. All right, time to climb. Man, could you imagine climbing one-handed like that? <laughs> huh. 
Press the triangle for this one. Come on. There we go. <coughs> Sprigs of Sage? must have made these little shelves a little bit brighter in the recent update that they did for the game because when I first played it you could barely see them. Chest. This should be pretty easy. Check out this shit right here. It's over. Uh. Only the strong survive.
damn it! Go hit me right! Definitely gonna need those. a breather or what the bridge is out do you think you can give us a hand hmm. let me see hmm. huh. for two grand Started at cloud. <laughs> okay. Oh, can I shoot that one too? Thousand gil. Well, that's your half you pay there, <laughs> right there, Cloud. Sometimes the controls in this game are just really finicky. It could just be because I'm not the best player, but like... <laughs> Game 
arcane physics in this game are weird. Appreciate it. Two grand. Don't you forget. <laughs> chest over here. I don't think we can open it from here. See a button or a lever? One sec. Thanks. We owe you. Yep. Two grand. That's fair. Battle time. Cranky boy here, back to sleep. Ah, looks like that hurt you. Ah. Up and a Mithril Golem, an amalgamation of Mithril Orb given life after a seismic shift caused Marco to fall from the earth. He uses the rocks in the cave to do away with intruders. It is resistant to physical attacks, but damaging its head will pressure it, making physical attacks more effective. It's weak to lightning. Okay, cool. Uh, ooh, got it uh, bring in the heat! Uh. Gonna make your mouth a chance! Hit it with everything you've got! Uh. I've got something just uh. for Check out this shit right now. Down Careless. This ends here. Now, got enough? The most you it. ain't gonna get away. Damn, this sucker keeps on getting bigger and bigger. But hey, just means it's that much easier to hit. Am I right? This ought to be fun.
Hey, hold on! What's all Rocky up to now? Fire it one off! What a team! Hope you don't mind if I'm getting for the hole. You got this! Mighty fine staircase. Thank you kindly. Cool beans. Now I kind of just want to heal quickly. Like, I'm sure there's a place I can do it elsewhere, but I'll just do this for now.
Of course I have to go the other way. My god. Took you. Stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away, right? The ground here could give way at any moment. We shouldn't linger. True, but don't forget, Shinra knows we're here now. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. I ain't stopping, not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. We all know what's at stake here. The fate of the world. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Tifa. Oh, goodness. <laughs> hey, check it out. Just them? Guess so. Mm-hmm. 
That city they're headed to, is that? Junon. Shinra territory. Come on. Dawn of a new era. Junon's that way. Mm, the Remnant Towers seem to be mostly behind us. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> I can't go that way because the cliff's too tall. Um. Where did that bird even come from, you think? There's a story about a great condor said to roost on an island's abandoned reactor. Though there's no longer any way to reach the isle. Or at least, none that I'm aware of. Nature's finally reclaiming what Shinra stole. Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. Didn't seem very friendly. Agreed. Let's focus on where we can go. Yeah, I I really wouldn't want to become bird food either. <laughs> oh. I'm evil. <gasps> Is it Chocolate Chick? I'm following, I'm following. <gasps> yes! Where's the other? And then we must pat all the chocobo chicks. It's mandatory. <laughs> There's a chair, a bench, just there, and I just used a cushion. Why? Starts pulling his weight soon. Which suggests he's not. Mm 
Who are you? Wait, you didn't come from the grasslands, did you? Yeah, we did. You know, Bill, he helped us cross the swamp and everything. You what? God damn it. I told that idiot to take his signs down. Swamplands are dangerous even on Chocoback. I'm gay, by the way. Owner of the ranch here. And before you ask, my birds are not for rent. Ain't worth the risk. <sighs> Used to run deliveries, but Shinra put the kibosh on all that. Still trying to keep it going best I can. Well, was trying till my carriage shit the bed. And since I don't have the parts to fix her, both she and my business are as good as dead. Even the chocobos are feeling down about it all. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. Kind of you to offer, but nah. It's just a matter of getting the right parts, isn't it? Says the girl who ain't gotta fix it. But even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey, I wouldn't be able to pay you for your time. I'm flat broke. Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Force of habit. <sighs> well, nothing for it now. Serves me right thinking I could run a business. Should have known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the chocobos? Why are you so adamant about this? Maybe I just want to feel like I did a good deed. But look at him. And his birds. I don't know. Pretty, pretty please? <laughs> Alright, he's gonna cave. Sweet! I wasn't really asking, but... I gotta warn you. The parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here they sure are. So where can we get them? From this craftsman at the top of the mountain. He'll have them. Can't go on foot, though. Only a certain chocobo can make that climb. Bird by the name of Belle. Last I saw, she was over yonder. And she ain't a big fan of people. All right, let's roll. Alrighty. Not to get ourselves the regional chocobo. But I want the remnant wave tower. Sorry for chocobo. roping you into this, even though he can't pay. Not can't. Won't. Hate to break it to you, but pretty sure that guy's better off than he looks. Wait, seriously? Are you saying I got duped? That he's just using me? <laughs> Afraid so. Huh? Jerk. Whatever. I'm not doing it for him anyway. I'm doing it for the chocobos. Allow me. Kappa wire. Botanical creatures that live near coasts. Their roots have developed in a way that allows them to scurry about unfettered. They have no vision or hearing, sensing enemies through vibrations instead. Exploring their elemental weakness will pressure them. Interestingly enough, um, that's how um, platypuses sense um, creatures underwater. Because they swim with their eyes closed. Going in. Alright, so we're going to also assess the other one because I have an underdeveloped assess area for Cloud now. So Fleetwing, avian creatures that nest in mountainous regions, their stiff feathers help them cut through the air quickly and descend upon their prey. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. Cool. Come here. Deal with that. You're up. I'm coming. Enough. So long. Needs more magic. 
Go track down some chocobos. the worst one but it is pretty bad this one do? Ice forever. <laughs> Don't make me go all the way back to the start. Please. Okay, so no, just to the the awkward moment.
Hooray! Oh my god. <laughs> Junon's Mountain Chocobos. The Chocobos of this region have legs and talons strong enough to scale certain cliff faces. If you spot a surface marked with garish graffiti, approach the up arrow symbol while on the choco back and uh, bleh, while on choco back to scale it. You can also climb down these surfaces. Alright. Come on you. I'm gonna save quickly because that was annoying. Let's see if I can speak to old mate first. See what he says. Oh no, apparently you can't. Okay, whatevs. Bell. but associate Phoenix now with Final Fantasy 16 considering I've played that in Joshua <laughs> because like the Phoenix in in Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth even looks very similar to Phoenix from um, 16 okay so square square triangle triangle I actually find it interesting as well. Is there any dialogue here? Hang on a sec. Yeah. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. I will get around to actually doing summon battles. But yeah, um, for a Final Fantasy game, 16 is very different. 
Like, I, I know a lot of people complain about the fact that 7 is no longer really that turn-based, but like... When you play 16, it, it, it plays like a completely different game. And to be honest, I don't mind it. Like, the story was actually really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, so that was a local intel one. So, Junon region. The rise and fall of the Republic of Junon. The people of Junon were once largely seafarers who only returned to the shore to peddle the bounty of the ocean. Unlike other communities that settled in a single location and gradually expanded their territory, these sailors preferred the freedom of the open seas and, over time, banded together with like-minded souls to form a unique society. As a republic, they repurposed a flotilla? of large vessels to construct a floating city that would serve as the center of their trade network. Having forged a robust infrastructure, they then set their sights on uniting the disparate peoples of the world. Though Junon ushered in an era of economic and cultural prosperity, it was not to last. Shinra's revolutionary Mako technology put paid to their ambitions, and their once proud city now slumbers beneath the waves. Wow. So Shinra literally just bombed them out of existence. Trying to fix Gabe's cart. Oh, so you're looking for parts. Well, you'll have to come back tomorrow, or the day after. I'm too tired to help you right now. Hmm. Think a swift kick could get him up? Do I wake him gently? Wake him with magic? Or leave him be? Dude, let's be an asshole. Let's wake him with magic. Wake up! Well, you're not serious, are you? <laughs> yeah, scared me half to death. <sighs> Do you want to get my ass up? Then you bring me exactly what's on that list, got it? Well? I say we get his ass up. <laughs> Use the Wayne White's map to and your trucker both sense of smell to locate the materials buried throughout the region. Press the left D-pad to view his map. To examine it more closely, press, press, press. Can't talk to you guys. Cannot talk. Press L1. <laughs> mm -hmm. So where are we going? There's one near... The base of Juno Tower there, and there's a couple, one near a, a box, another one 
near where we found the chocobo in the first place. Alrighty. <laughs> Is there anything else up here of note? Not at this point. So, we're gonna cheat. And just teleport for now. So there should be one. Come on, make it bigger, there we go. To the north. Here, Chocobo. Oh, here we go. This way. I think we're sort of over here. So, north, a little bit further, and over here. Here we go. Okay, yes, I know there's an enemy nearby. Don't have to freak out. This one I think I will have to kill these first. It's on you. I got this. Get Watch yourself. I'll show you what I can do. Go on. Let's get we'll it. I know it's faked, but that's literally what my father used to sound like when he snored. Special delivery! <laughs> what? Then you read the list? Everything I need's written right there. And over the goods. Let's go. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, name's Freddy. So what was it you needed again? To ask about his doing, what he's doing. <laughs> Frankly, I'm not doing much of anything. Other Noted. than thinking about the war, that is. This used to be a shelter, you know? One of the few safe spots during the air raids. A lot of folks lost their lives. Good, decent folks. Can't bring back the dead, but 
Least I can do is sit here and pay him my respects. Ask about Gabe. Gabe and I, we go way back. Comrades in arms. You'd never know it now, but he used to ride front and center in the Chocobo Cavalry. We scoured every inch of these mountains, hunting for Shinra units and attacking them when they least expected it. <laughs> Some close calls, too. Don't know how we survived. We fought tooth and nail for ourselves and the Republic, but wasn't enough. Now I'm just hoping to live out the rest of my days in peace. Task about the war. Junon versus Shinra. Before your time. You didn't think all those buildings demolished themselves, did you? Anyway, I fought in the Republic Army. And let's just say it wasn't pretty. Got our asses handed to us. And what you see now is all that remains. Task for the pot. Oh, yeah. You did mention that. This'll just take a sec. Tell me she ain't a beauty. Nobody makes them like I do, and that's no lie. Go on, take it. You ought to make more than that. Gabe's definitely gonna need him at some point. I don't know about that. Besides, I've got things to do. <sighs> Like catching some Z's for one. So if we're all done here. <laughs> the graphics there for a second, my god. Okay, just quickly, I love all the little details in this game. This is this is great. Like it's obvious that he's paying respects to those who passed away. Jeez, Aerith. Guess what? Brought you a present from your good friend, Freddy. Is that so? Only if you promise to fix your carriage and take better care of your chocobos. Well, twist my arm, why don't you? All right, little lady. It's a deal. Good. In that case, no time like the present. Good as new. Oh, oh, I gotta say, that old dog really outdid himself this time. Hell of a job. Don't think my character's ever looked even half this good. <laughs> Appreciate it, kids. I could finally get the business back up and running again. That's great. But before we head out, I just want to ask one more thing. If we hadn't shown up, would you have even tried to give your birds a better life? Maybe. I see. But I get it. Shinra's a big company, and what they say goes. I can't blame you for being too scared to fight back. Hey, I ain't scared of those sons of bitches. Not one bit. Oh? Then why'd you shut down the business? It's like I told you, my carriage broke. And getting the parts to fix it sounded like a real hassle, so... So, there you have it. I just... let it go. How responsible. Okay, fine. I shouldn't have been so quick to throw in the towel. You happy? Starting today, I'm giving this job my all. I'll stock up on parts so I can keep the carriage moving, and make sure my birds never get bored again. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> then the deal is sealed. You're quite the businesswoman yourself, ain't she? Now that Gabe is back in business, you can travel between the Junon region and the grasslands without entering the mines. Speak with the stable hands at either Gabe's or Bill's Chocobo Ranch to use this service.
All right. So I think you actually have I to talk. I right on over here when I heard Gabe was back in business. If you're in the market for a ride, Gabe's Chocobos will get you where you need to go lickety split. So I think once you pay for it once, you can do it whenever. There we go. And now let's see. If I can just do this. No, I actually still have to pay Howdy. for it. Okay. Our carriages will get you where you need to go. Well, I say our, but I'm not a regular employee. I only fill in from time to time whenever the farm I work isn't busy. Okay, cool. So I just wasted 600 gold, but like... It was probably necessary. <laughs> Let's have a quick look here. Can buy. What can I buy? Ooh, a wind materia. Let's have a look and see if we've got any SP. No, not yet. Alrighty, um, so I'm just going to have a quick break, uh, probably like 5-10 minutes at most, so if you're watching, feel free to get up, get yourself a drink, get hydrated, and I will be back in about 10 minutes, so hang tight.
Alrighty, so I'm back. Um, thanks for hanging around. Just type that into chat. Cool. Alrighty. So, I don't know if anyone's watched this yet, but like, um, on YouTube, there's some parts about a little bit behind the scenes for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth put out there by Square Enix. Um, and one of the things the developers talked about was to improve the immersiveness based on the time of day is the coloration you get for the start menu here as well. So it's the afternoon, so the lighting is afternoon lighting. When it's daytime, it's a lot brighter. And when it's nighttime, it's the dim, dark lighting. I think that's a pretty cool little feature that they didn't have to do that they chose to do so yeah all right what are we doing next I want to get these towers as much as I like want to continue on to under June on I think I want to get these towers first alrighty so let's go get this ourselves. And the closest one is probably this one. Let's go! Nope, won't go down that way. Okay, fine. That way, but like this way. Come on, Chocobo. Anisa Tend to play out sweeper. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, I'm not. Let me to go after the proto relic. Because if I remember correctly, this is like the Fort Condor one. <laughs> so it might wait until after I go into Underjunon. Or at least do a few things. So we're gonna go fight ourselves some fiends. Cacophonic called this place. Rare Tonadu variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. During this time of year, Tonadus migrate to the Tuna region to seek out mates. They build their nests far from civilization and raise their young in pairs. In terms of duties, it often falls to the males. Too bad. A rare Tonadu variant that is extremely cautious by nature, hardly daring to even approach its prey. Instead, opts to weaken its target over time by emitting special sound waves while aloft. Inflicting enough damage will cause it to retaliate with a violent attack, but evading this attack will pressure it. Dodge! Unfortunately, when food is scarce, they may occasionally venture into towns and cities where they have been known to attack humans. As Shinra Sentinel Tonadu variant reports, the Take I'll show you what I can do. On that note, please take care not to become a snack during your investigation. Good time for you! Snowbound! Over here! You'll be blown away! Wow! I almost feel sorry for you! Jeez. I can get the spell off first. Whatever. Watch yourself. Taking over. Still up for it? I'm wild now. Are you okay? After you, All I won't set. give up. Barret! Yeah. Kick off! Tried, but Aerith died first. <laughs> All right, so oh, she can cast Cura now. Cool. I'm just gonna jump back over here, heal, and then jump back. near the proto relic at the moment but I will head over here so let's just teleport here for the moment and I think I might just get which way am I going I think I have to go this way
No, go back. Okay, but where? That way. Swim. Spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It can be found within a derelict structure that sits upon the coastline. This area is modeled with craters resulting from intense warfare between the Republic and Shinra. Do mind your step as you proceed. Okay, we'll head that way and a bit later. Now it's looking more like the easiest one to get to would be that one, but it can wait. I'll go back to the other one. I left the wrong way. Course not. Fine.
Zemzalit, avian creatures that nest in forested regions. Equally capable on the ground as in the air, they use their giant wings to send prey soaring, finishing their victims off with electrified bursts of wind. Inflicting enough damage during wing beat will pressure them. Now, yeah, I'm like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, dodge, dodge, dodge! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Shatter! That's it! You're mine! <laughs> I got your number. Tonadu. Migratory avian creatures that settle in fertile lands when it comes time to breed. They constantly keep an eye out for prey as they fly. Inflicting enough damage will cause them to retaliate with a violent attack, but evading this attack will pressure them. Wind current. Don't overdo it. Switch to Aerith. I'll take care of them. What the? Enjoy the ride. Stop it. That was something. I am really not good at dodging this. It's fine. I'm okay. Everything's on. That's the way to do it. Alrighty. Wow. Like, you can see how they've had an air raid here as well, like just the damage on the cliffs. There's a neat little detail. Yes, I'm following you, Mr. Chucko Chick. What is that? Like, obviously, it's a fine creature, but... Looks like a raccoon, but not. Maybe it's meant to be a tanuki. Yes, and then I will pack the choco chick.
Ah, uh, the stop has the old save point symbol on it. That's cool. I've just noticed that. You're so cute! Alright. So the next location we're going to, we'll go to... Fiend. And then the Remnant Wave Tower. I'm assuming that's the Fiend, potentially. Oh, no, actually it's not. Interesting. Now, Fiend is on the other side of this little tunnel alcove. Natural archway. Zemzi. Better not let your guard down. Rare Zemzilet variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Zemzilets are known as the sages of the skies. Not only because of their intelligence, Too bad. but... A rare Zemzilet variant that hatched near a life spring. So that's a Whimzilet. Thus granting it arcane power. It... Well. It can shroud itself in wind to heal its wounds. Press air into powerful bombs. Inflicting enough damage while it's casting, soothing breeze will pressure it. Also, there are remarkable feathers that make them both elegant and functional. These feathers are prized by all manner of craftsmen since antiquity for their beauty and resilience. Arrows fashioned for them are particularly valuable. They're said to slice through the air so quickly, they're capable of piercing even solid stone. Oh, but they cannot be so entranced by their abilities that you lose focus. We're currently gathering combat data on target. Damn it. It's on you. I, it's on you. So it's my turn? Needs more magic. Alright, so soul drain. You can do it! Hang back. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go. Up. Now, go on. Now Let's do this. Uh, <laughs> Keep it up. Strike hard and fast. Bring it. Bingo. Nice move, freeze! It's all guaranteed! There! Cool off! Keep it up! Looks like it's up, potentially.
I give it all this. you got. No, I win the card. Don't overdo it. Oh, you're up. I'm coming. Anytime. Try using it. Together? Get him. Come on. That didn't work very well. I'm coming. I am not good against airborne enemies. Not at all. Cells, another fiend, and a life spring. So let's head towards the fiend first, maybe, or maybe we'll go to the life spring. Any beanie money more? Yes, let's go this way first. Okay. graphics just them and like it's in graphics mode but I wonder if because I'm using remote play at the moment to stream this so I wonder if remote play actually inhibits the quality as well <laughs> Deal with that. Let me handle it. It's on you. I'll take care of them. <laughs> One more shot. Come on. Get him. Uh, sorry, but I gotta. Good Not night. <laughs> I 
think we're almost done. Get him! That's it! This one's for you! Lend me your strength? Go on! Thank you! Kinda hurt! One more shot! Nothing to it. This way. <laughs> Bring it. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't fought these guys before. I got your number. Ignalisk. Oh, Jesus. Poi kilotherms that live near coasts. Poi kilotherms. Jeez, what does that mean? Poi kilotherm. An organism that cannot regulate its body temperature except by behavioural means such as basking or burrowing. Ah! So essentially lizards. Why didn't they just say it's a lizard? <laughs> Jeez. Alrighty. They're extremely timid in nature and will heat up their throats and dorsal fins to ward off any perceived threats. Okay, but like you just said that they're a poikilotherm. Which means that they can't heat up except from the sun. So like... But you're, you're saying that they can... So <sighs> Why am I applying human world, real world logic to video games? Stop it! <laughs> Alrighty. Um, exploiting the elemental weakness will pressure them. While pressured, they will become unable to use some of their abilities. Alrighty. <laughs> Triple slash, let's go. No surprises there. Burp. Where did you go, Burp? Thank you. Ruined treasury. High potions. <laughs> That's the second one.
that's where I want to go, but... Ah, yes. Climb cloud. June on the Fortress City. Let's have a looky. Gib. Okay. Having conquered the Republic of Junon, Shinra constructed a nigh impregnable fortress on the coast in the heart of their enemy's former territory. Powered by the world's only underwater Mako reactor and equipped with a colossal cannon capable of firing as far as Wutai, the stronghold resembles a vast battleship risen from the deep to defend the eastern continent. Junon is a city composed of multiple levels, each of which is lined with uniform buildings that were originally designed to serve the needs of the military personnel. After the war with Wutai, some were converted into hotels and retail outlets, and the harbour and airport now see a constant stream of civilian visitors. Military exercises are still conducted frequently, however, and should the need arise, defence countermeasures can be deployed at a moment's notice, transforming the city into a fortress ready to repel would-be invaders. Like, when you look at the world map, which isn't actually that big. Wutai is like east, like, uh, well west actually, but like it, it's really far west. Like you've got the the mainland that Junon and Midgar is on, then you've got Corral, and then you've got the, the landmass that has Nebel like Nibelheim and Cosmo Canyon and Gongaga and then further west again is Wutai. Um, I would actually like I've seen like the maps that they have of the Final Fantasy 7 world as sort of flat like we have our world maps but I would really like to see a global version of that I probably should google that at some point and just have a looky see. Like they've changed a few things um, since the original Final Fantasy 7 um, but I'm not too worried about it. That was always gonna happen I think. Alrighty. Now I don't think that there's a way up from here to get to this section of the island I'm on. I'll have a quick look, but it does not look like it. So I'm going to teleport back over. <sighs> Wrong button. Teleport back over here and then use a chocobo to get up the hill. go up here without getting attacked. Fantastico. Ah. Hmm. 
Was this the right way to go? Or did I have to go another way? I'm sure you can get up there. Hmm, apparently not. Apparently it's the other way. Kill! from here. So maybe it's just better to go this way first. Alrighty. Well, I have a missed call from work, so I'm assuming they're calling me in. So I might just leave it there today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you stuck around all this time, really appreciate it. Thanks for spending some time with me. Um, let's see. Um, I'm not 100% sure when I'll next be on, um, I just tend to do this in my spare time, so if you happen to catch me again, cool, if you don't, then I hope you have a great week, um, take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye!